Chainsaws aren't normally the sound you'd expect to hear as you drive down Vine Street. For the past 10 years, Mark Rexinger has transformed firewood into pieces of art in the front of his Lincoln home. Man, I could do that. I've been, I've been using a chainsaw since I was like 13, uh, cutting firewood. You know, we, I lived out in the country and we burned wood. And yeah. Just, uh, I just thought I could do it, and I have a. I, Next year, I bought a piece from him, and then I bought a chainsaw and started whacking away trying to do it. There's a lot of a lot of American eagles. Yeah, that's my favorite thing to carve. I okay. like making eagles. That's all I really wanted to carve in the beginning. Mm -hmm. What was the what was the reasoning behind that? Because uh, most of the other carvers made bears, and I didn't want to do what everybody else was doing. Mark sells his chainsaw eagles, bears, and faces for anywhere between $200 and $500. All right. All right, that's where I am. I'm kind of stuck in a rut right now. You know, I like to make eagles. I've started making these bear heads, but a lot of people want the whole body of a bear. They want a great big bear, you know, and just this last summer I did make a couple of those, and I need to make some more this year because they did sell right away, and just just got to push yourself to do it, you know. Does that ever bug you sometimes that like, you know, what you want to make is not always what sells the best? Oh, well, yeah, I'd, I'd rather just make eagles. I'd rather make an eagle for everybody, you know, and in that way I can just make the same thing and I'm real comfortable doing it and I can, I know how to do it. I don't like doing new stuff because it just hurts my brain, you know, I just have to think it through, you know, and it just takes too long. I'd rather do something fast. And I don't. I don't really like these goofy-looking little bears that I do, but people think they're cute, so <laughs> cute sells. Mark sculpts full time, but he hopes business picks up soon. Uh, this is the last couple of years I've been kind of burning through my savings and doing it full time. But, wow! But I'm having fun. I don't have a lot of expenses. You know, my truck's paid for, so I don't have to make a whole lot of money. Yeah, my friends, some of my friends think I'm a real, real hobo. In the end, all that matters is that Mark loves doing what he does every day out of the week. Turning ordinary pieces of wood into chainsaw masterpieces.